83-year-old Eddie Bandine has suffered from Parkinson's for 20 years. Prone to falling down and becoming stuck when walking, these state-of-the-art glasses have had a life-changing effect. It's definitely remarkable. Before the glasses, uh, always on tenter hooks when we went out, you know, because if he started the small steps, you know, I knew he would go down. He, we went across to the uh, RGU and uh, spoke with Julie and she fitted the glasses on and he walked upright. Whoever wears these smart glasses designed in Lossy Mouth will be met with a hologram projected two and a half metres in front of them, helping to improve their mobility. And despite being a high-tech device, you'd be mistaken for thinking they were just a pair of sunglasses. People who have Parkinson's are, are usually pretty conscious about um, you know, using a medical device because they're cognitively still aware that they have Parkinson's. So they don't want people to, to see them with a walking stick or a walking aid. So one of the things that was important to us that, that was that we created glasses that were practically invisible. The way each participant walked was measured on a sensory mat before the trial began. After two weeks of wearing the glasses, the participants' walking was reassessed and five of seven found some improvement in their balance, stability and confidence. When they came back to do the pressure mat again, what kind of results did you see? So the results were varied, but some people really felt the fluidity of their walking had improved, they felt more confident walking and walked with a more even stride length, so they felt more confident and could walk faster with an improved quality. Whereas other people perhaps felt that they improved their posture, other pe people felt it, it improved their balance. But we also had some people that it made no difference for at all for their walking. It's hoped this northeast development will have a global reach and improve the lives of the 12 million people living with Parkinson's around the world and allow people like Eddie to live the most independent life possible. Kirsten Tate, STV News.